funding. Okay, so my final two questions. One of the letters that the minority has submitted into the record is a letter from the American Association for the Advancement of Science. A sentence within that letter. We are committed to the principle that scientific inquiry and open scientific communication, regardless of field of study, should proceed unhampered by intrusions on academic freedom. Now that is a noble sounding statement and one that I, with which I agree emphatically. Uh, I want to ask the members of the panel, how does that noble sentiment comport with the call from our colleague, Democratic Senator Sheldon Whitehouse, mm -hmm. that anyone who dares dispute the global warming alarmist orthodoxy should face criminal prosecution under RICO? Are those two statements somehow compatible that you can have academic freedom and robust debate when you've got politicians saying we will criminally prosecute you as a racketeer if you dispute our political orthodoxy? Well, that statement by science, is, is uh, the AAAS, is really a myth because about two months ago, well, maybe three months ago, the editor of science, Marsha McNutt, had an op-ed in science that said the debate is over, urgent action needed, essentially. And this was the editor of science, which is the flagship journal of the American Association for the Advancement of Science. When an editor of a scientific journal makes a statement like that, it gives all of the editors a license to completely ignore any publication that submitted that questions a consensus. And this is the real pernicious thing that's going on. So right now, we're more ruled by the RICO mentality than we are by those lofty sentiments expressed by the American Association for the Advancement of Science. Mm -hmm. uh, with this, and Judith mentioned, uh, Judith mentioned Science Magazine. Nature Magazine went even further. They're the two most prestigious science journals on the planet, Nature and Science. And Nature printed a statement recently from a group of climate scientists who said, quote, climate justice, unquote, climate justice is more important than democracy. So that the fake 97% consensus is no longer enough. The fake 97% consensus of so-called climate scientists now has to trump uh, the 51% uh, of the electorate. No science in history has conducted itself like this. And it would be unrecognizable to Sir Isaac Newton or Charles Babbage or the Curies uh, to see a, uh, a self-sustaining, malign, uh, politico-science nexus supporting itself uh, and excluding all other voices. It is at odds with scientific inquiry across the centuries. Let me...